Good morning. We are leaving Applejack Ranch this morning and we're going... Our ultimate goal today is to get to Cheyenne. On the way to Cheyenne, we're going to go through places like Thermopolis, Medicine Bow, Laramie and ultimately to Cheyenne. We're going to this place because of its link with a TV series called Hell on Wheels, which is all about the Union Pacific Railway joining the railway from east to west United States of America. So we're driving through those towns and cities. It's in, still in the state of Wyoming, and we're looking forward to going through the Wind River Canyon, which we've heard is fantastic. So buckle up, let's go. As we drove out of Cody, we headed south toward Matisse and Thermopolis, passing through the rolling hills and countryside. Wyoming is known as the cowboy state due to its wide open expanses and large ranches. Towns and cities like Cody and Cheyenne host some of the world's best rodeos. For us, the ranch country of Wyoming feels like home. We took some side streets in Thermopolis to explore the area, which proved to be a really nice little place. Well, we just passed through Thermopolis. It was quite a small place and we didn't see anywhere to stop or anything to really look at. There are supposedly some hot springs to swim in there, but we didn't see them. So I'm not sure what we, what we missed or how we missed it or why we didn't see it. We're about to enter the Wind River Canyon. Now this is said to be a stunning place. We've been looking forward to seeing this. Scott's gonna fly his drone and show you just how beautiful it is. Wind River Canyon stands as a majestic symbol of nature's timeless artistry, bearing a testament to over two and a half billion years of geological history. The gorge's imposing walls unveil an intricate display of ancient rocks, from the enduring Precambrian granite and gneiss at its foundation to the compelling sedimentary layers of the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras above. Carved over millennia by the relentless forces of the Wind River and its tributaries, the awe-inspiring wonder offers a profound glimpse into the Earth's mayed past. From the indigenous tribes who revered its spiritual significance to the intrepid explorers and settlers who ventured through its depths, Wind River Canyon resonates with the echoes of history. Today, it stands as a cherished haven for outdoor enthusiasts, inviting them to bask in its breathtaking vistas, engage in world-class fishing, and embrace the rich tapestry of geological and cultural heritage it so gracefully preserves.
Wind River Canyon is amazing. It's so deep. I can't, I can't fly the drone fly enough to get to the top of the canyon. It's so deep. Uh, big spires. I haven't been able to video that yet properly. Beautiful. Wyoming is the least densely populated state in the United States, with an average of 2.3 people per square kilometre. Australia is the fifth least densely populated country in the whole world, with three people per square kilometre. And just like Wyoming, the majority of the population of Australians lives in the major cities and towns. So out in the countryside is where the pace is slower. And that's where we enjoy this low population density. It is so quiet. It is remote, but it feels like home to us. We come from rural Australia, where there is a lot of space, big skies and room to breathe. And that's why driving across Wyoming felt like home to us, with its wide open spaces, only a few cars and long distances between major towns. We've made it to Medicine Bow, Wyoming. It was a quite a long drive from Cody. We've been through an amazing array of countryside from the canyons that we showed you. We've been through areas where there's just rugged sand stone cliffs, red dirt, lots of sagebrush, prairie lands. We've been at an elevation where in Australia you would think you were on just flat low elevation. It, the flat plateau up here, it's at 7,300 feet, which is as high as Kosciuszko, which just blows my mind. Yeah. We're going to head into the Medicine Bow Museum. This is a, a town that's on the Union, old Union Pacific Railway, and there's a lot of history here, so let's go and check it out. So we've stopped, we've stopped into the Medicine Bow Museum, just met Mike. Uh, Mike has moved recently from California to Medicine Bow. So just tell us a little bit about that move. Why the move? Well, one of the reasons is uh, Wyoming's still one of the last states that you have most of your freedoms, mm -hmm. most of your rights. And it's not priced out of range like California. Mm -hmm. So you you moved up here. Did you buy property or you were renting? How is that? No, happen? I bought property yeah. because my house burned down. They wanted too much money to rebuild it. Mm -hmm. So I said, give me the money. And I came up here and I bought uh, 81 acres up here. Nice. Okay. So on your 81 acres, do you have a couple of cattle? What do you, not yet. We're working on it. You're working on it, right? Okay. Yeah, I have to refence and all of that stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So you've enjoyed the move, California. So you? far, I have. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been up here about a year and a half. Yeah. So I've been here through two winters. Ooh. The first winter was kind of different for us because it was five feet of snow. Yeah. This year was a normal winter, and we didn't have. Well, you know, three to two to three feet of snow. Yep. Yeah. Right. What's the best thing about moving to Medicine Bow that you found? The quietness. Right. Nice. Yep. Yes. Excellent. Right. Very few people. I mean, the town of Medicine Bow only has 250 people in it. Mm. And then I live outside of Medicine Bow up on one of the hills out yep. that way. So it's even quieter. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Huh. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Alrighty. Appreciate have a life. safe trip. Enjoy yourself. Medicine Bow, Wyoming is a charming town with a rich history in the heart of the American West. The small town was once a major player in the Transcontinental Railroad, thanks to the Union Pacific Railway, which arrived in 1868. The railroad brought growth, prosperity, 
and a unique blend of culture to Medicine Bow. All right, deal them up. I'm in. She's not doing it. <laughs> the museum has railroad artifacts and stories of the Union Pacific's impact on the region, exhibits on the town's early settlers, ranchers, and Native American tribes, and a collection of fossils from the nearby Como Bluff dinosaur quarry. As we journeyed out from Medicine Bow, we were struck by its resemblance to the wide open spaces of the Western Plains of New South Wales. The small towns and friendly people continued to remind us of home. Progressing southwards towards Laramie, we admired Wyoming's expansive landscapes, quaint towns and historical sites. We learned that Wyoming's harsh winters test the resilience of its residents and the snowdrift barriers along the roadside were a stark reminder of the challenges posed by the wild Wyoming wind and the winter plains. And despite these challenges, the people of Wyoming, much like rural Australians for different reasons, endure and thrive in the face of harsh natural conditions. And maybe this is also why Wyoming felt like a little piece of home in our hearts. Our next stop was the Laramie Museum, uh, which again is one of those key places in the TV series we've been talking about called Hell on Wheels. A fantastic looking museum. It closes at four o'clock and the last tour leaves at 3 p.m. We arrived here at 3.30, so <laughs> we can't actually look inside, which is a shame, but anyway, that's how it is. So it looks like a really, really good, interesting museum though. So last tour leaves by three. And on to Cheyenne we go. So. Upon arriving in Cheyenne this afternoon, we had a quick lie down. We were pretty tired after uh, such a big drive. We popped out, got some uh, groceries at the store, at the shop, and then we popped into Firehouse Subs. Firehouse Subs are a little bit like Subway, but they were founded by firefighters. And now some of the donations that, that can be made there go towards first responders. Driving through Wyoming from Cody to Cheyenne, we found Wyoming to be a really diverse landscape. So this morning when we first left Cody, we were going through lots of mountains again. We were going through really deep canyons like the Wind River Canyon. And then by the afternoon, we'd come out onto what they call the prairies or the plains. And they were just open plains with no trees for miles and miles and miles and miles. And then you come up to a really high part again with another bit of hilly different rock shapes and everything again so very diverse landscape from what we've seen in wyoming tomorrow we're going to be exploring cheyenne so one of the big things here in cheyenne are boots so stay tuned for that episode next as we look around cheyenne and remember take care of your mates <laughs>